factors are not so hard as long as you do not think too much about them. And that is exactly what we're going to do now. Because what is a factor? And why are they so important for us? What's the difference with scalars? You will learn all of this in this video. And we use an example. We use a pool table with a white ball over here. Just leave out all the other ones, just the white one. How can we describe the pool table? Which quantities do we need? Well, first of all, we could say, well, we need the mass of the ball, which is given in kilograms, which is just a number. Or uh, we want to know the volume of the ball, which is also just a number in meters cubed. Or maybe it's interesting to know the time between shots or the time of a frame or a match, time t given in seconds. All are just numbers. But now, what if we want to describe where the ball is, if we want to describe its position? Then we cannot just give a number. Then we have to make a construction like this. Then we need factors. We have to choose an origin, somewhere, say, in the corner over here. We have to choose a coordinate system, x and y axis, and some unit. I put the one over here, some scale. And then the position of the ball is described by a factor consisting of two components, an x and a y component, which tells us where the ball is. Position r also in meters. For factor quantities like position, we'll use bolt phase and normal for scalar quantities. So factor quantities has more components, has both size and a direction. You have to tell not just how far you are traveling, starting at the origin, but also in which direction you are traveling. And that's the difference with scalars, which only have a magnitude. This one has both a magnitude and a direction. Well, do we have more of those vector quantities? Well, if we look at the time rate of change of the position, then we see that's the derivative of position with respect to time, also known as velocity in meters per second. If we want to know where the ball is going, or if you know how fast it is changing its velocity, how fast it is accelerating, near hand we have the time rate of change of velocity uh, with respect to time, which gives us an acceleration, also factor quantity in meter per second squared. And then you know, of course, Newton's law, which states force equals mass times acceleration. Well, mass is a scalar quantity, but since Acceleration is a vector quantity, mass times acceleration will be a vector quantity, so force also will be a vector quantity. So we see for some quantities in physics we need scalars, but for other quantities we definitely need factors. That's just how it is, that is how nature works. So when do we call two factors the same? Well, this seems really trivial. Well, it's not as trivial as you might think on first sight. Here we have our factor u. Factor v1 is in the same direction, but does not have the same size. So v1 is not equal to u. v2 has the same magnitude as u, but is in another direction, in fact, the opposite direction. So v2 is also not equal to u. And v3, okay, that's a complete mess. That one is obviously not equal to u. But how about those factors, u and v? Well, in linear algebra, we'll call this u and v the same. Same magnitude, the same direction, even though they don't have the same starting point. So in linear algebra, we'll usually start, let the factors start just in the origin. But here you have to be really careful if you go to physics. Look again at our ball over here. Suppose I apply a force, same force, three times, and you probably know from experience that it does matter where you apply the force. So in a physical problem, you always have to be careful when you are moving factors around. Is it allowed or not? Are you changing something? In the case of the, uh, the pool table here, uh, the problem is that apart from some linear momentum, you are also causing some angular momentum if you 
put the force on another position. So that's why in this physical case it matters when you place a force somewhere else. So if you're doing physics, be careful when, when vectors are equal or not. For linear algebra, for our course, we will just move all vectors starting at the origin.